It's one of my favorite days of the year. It's time to prep and plant our garden. It's definitely a labor of love. And in this video, we're going to show you each of the steps we take to ensure our plot is ready for plants. And we'll take it from this to this. And for those of you new to our channel, we are 100% au naturel, never a chemical insecticide or pesticide used. So if you're looking for videos on how to garden naturally, from things like trimming tomatoes and topping peppers to how to deal with pests, keep an eye on our channel, hit the subscribe button because we'll share that throughout the season as well. Now it's time to get to work. Trying to make something out of nothing, you know You never wanted silver, gold, or the finer things Just a wife and kids, a home in the American dream If I had a thousand tongues I would sing with everyone Voices like a mountain song Sing you are my only one Oh my, oh my, oh my days Life is wonderful Life is wonderful thousand ships just to be about your lips tell them all to sail away just to see you every day oh my oh my oh my days life is wonderful life is wonderful
but we added some compost, we added some straw to really amend and richen our soil. We dissed and rototilled and then put our tarps back down. For us, I hate weeding, so the tarps help with that. They help heat our soil earlier on so we can get our plants in the ground sooner. We're a zone four, almost a zone three, so really cold. So this just helps us get our plants in the ground and going sooner. And it's really just worked out wonderfully for us. We have rich, beautiful soil and our garden hasn't been established in this location for very long. So it's really sped up the process of establishing wonderful soil here for us. It may look like a rock garden now, but that's where we're gonna stop next weekend. I have all of our plants currently started in our windows in the house and I will bring them out and we'll get them in the ground next weekend. So long as the weather says it's not going to freeze anymore this year, I'll have to give it a peek first. So if you're like me and you're not somebody who loves to weed, but you really wanted to start gardening, this is the way to go. I'll add a link to our last year's gardening video so you can kind of see what the mat does in terms of production. We have wonderful results, so watch that video and see how a mat can help you. I typically like to do a circle instead of this X method and take out the entire um, center of the circle. The downside with that is if you leave your mat down after season, you'll have a few weeds that grow out of the circles um, the next spring. On this mat, since it's old and I don't truly care about it, I'm gonna try this X method and see if we can pull those flaps um, back closed in the winter time and prevent those weeds from pushing up in the springtime. However, the downside is going to be that obviously a point here will potentially tear. So I'm going to monitor for that and see how the various methods work. for a few hours already and have the tomatoes, cucumbers, green beans, lettuce, cabbage, some dill, onions, garlic, zucchini, all done already. It's getting warmer and warmer this afternoon and I'm hoping I can finish. I'm on to my peppers. I start them indoors and they're really quite tall, ready to come outside for sure. 
So I'm gonna pop them in the ground and then I'll show you a close up of how I top my pepper plants. It makes for a bushier plant, which also makes it bear more fruit. So let me get them in the ground and then I'll show you how to top. Okay, time to trim the pepper plants. You want six to eight leaves. You can have four, that's okay, but I prefer six to eight. So this one is perfect size. And all I'm going to do is save these bigger leaves here. So kind of spread them back and I'm going to trim off that little sprout in the middle. So very carefully with my snips, I'm gonna go in here and trim off just that little sprout. As you can see, I just took that. And now that will prevent the plant from shooting up and really putting all of its nutrient into the center stem and getting tall and leggy. And it will get bushier and like I said, bear more fruit. All right, the garden is fully prepped and planted. I have what we planted on the board already. I'm gonna jot down the number of plants we put in, and then as things grow, I'll track our yield and see how successful we are. So eight tomatoes, eight lettuce, 12 cucumbers, 14 beans, 25 onions, 12 pepper, 20 garlic, four watermelon, six squash, 26 cabbage, two zucchini, dill, I don't know how you count that, but there's three or four little holes planted and sunflowers, probably about 12. I didn't really count the seeds there, but I'm guessing we put about 12 in the ground. So now keep watching our channel. I'll post videos throughout the summer and I will share with you how successful or maybe unsuccessful our yield is. We usually do pretty well, so fingers crossed this is another good year here on The Parcel.